Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Miss Maydi. And I'm so excited to be your ICT teacher this year. Okay, let's start our ICT class. Hi everyone. Hi students. Okay. Okay, uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Miss Maydi. You can call me Miss Maydi. My full name is Miss Maydi Methodist Kaparang. Okay, I will be your uh, new ICT teacher in this year. Okay, so I hope that this academic we are going to have a fabulous year of learning. Okay, guys. Can we start our lesson? Okay. Okay. We start our lesson now, okay? Lesson one. Know your computer. Our learning objectives is explain the terms input, process, and output. First, you know what is this? Yes, it's a keyboard. Keyboard is commonly used in input device. It allows the user to input letters, numbers, and other characters into computer. Let's take a look for an example input devices. Input devices, the devices that give data or instruction to the computer. Examples Keyboard Numeric keypad Pointing device Remote control Joystick Touchscreen Scanner, graphic tablet, microphone, digital camera, webcams, and the last one is light pads. Example of keyboard. If you see the picture, this is named Optimus Tactus Keyboard. Optimus Tactus Keyboard does not have any physical keys and thus has no fixed size and shape. Okay, next. Mouse. The arrows you see on the screen is the pointer. Thus, the mouse is also known as a pointing devices. Mouse has two basic types of computer mice. First, mouse with a roller ball. A roller ball allows the mouse to move on a flat surface as shown aside. The second one is optical mouse. It uses light source to detect the movement of the mouse. This in turn allows movement of the pointer on the screen. Next, joystick. Joystick is a vertical handle which can be moved forwards, backwards, and sideways to control a machine. Light pen. A light pen is a pointing device which is shaped like a pen and is used for a pointing, drawing, writing, or selecting something on the screen. Touch screen. The computer screen that acts both as an input and output device, which sensitive to the 
touch of a finger or stylus or a light pen is called touch screen. Example, if you can see the picture is ATM screen. Next, barcode reader. A barcode reader is a set of lines of different thicknesses that represent a number. If you can see, maybe you and your mom go to the mall and you want to pay something. So the cashier used the barcode, right? Next, digital camera. Digital camera records images in a digital form which can be stored in a computer. These images in the camera can also be printed. Now you can see the picture. This is the example of digital camera. Next, webcam. Web camera. Web camera is a camera which records moving pictures and sound and allows this to be a broadcast on internet as they happen. You can see the example picture. Okay students, now let us learn more about input devices. I want to show you the short video about input devices. Okay? Let us watch. In this video, we are going to learn more about input devices. In a computer, an input device is typically a hardware equipment used to send data and instructions to the computer. Let's look at some common input device. Keyboard is a typewriter-like device which has keys to send input to computer. It is used to type in letters, numbers, and commands to the computer. Mouse is the most common pointing device. It is held by hand and is used to control the cursor or pointer on the monitor. It has two or three buttons to draw or play games on the computer. For a laptop, a touchpad is used instead of mouse. Joystick is another pointing device which is used to play games on the computer. Microphone or mic is used to record voice, music or sound in the computer. Mic is connected to a sound card in a computer which converts our audio to digital sound. Digital camera or webcam is used to capture pictures or videos and then store them on your computer. A scanner works like a photocopier machine. It converts any text or images on a paper into an electronic form. Scanner comes in various sizes from small handheld scanner to flatbed scanner to fast drum scanner. There are some special scanners like OMR or optical mark reader which can recognize mark made by pen or pencil and are used to check answer sheets which have multiple choice questions. Many scanners also come with OCR or optical character recognition which can convert images or printed document to editable text on computer. Touch screens are very common today in tablets and smartphones. By means of finger or light pen, input can be passed to the computer. Barcode readers are typically found in shops or retail outlets. It beams a laser light which can be used to read the barcoded data which gives the information about the product such as its name, price, sector, to computer. Many credit cards, security cards have a magnetic strip on the back. This strip has the user data encoded on the strip and is read by the machine when swiped. This machine is also called as magnetic strip reader. Similarly, there are magnetic in-character reader or micro which can read user data on bank checks. Okay, students. Okay, our conclusion is today. Can you tell me what is an example of input devices?
one. Mouse, two. Keyboard and joystick, yes. And touch screen and webcam. Next, joystick. And what else? What else? Scanner. Yes, it's correct. Yeah. Okay. Next, in the next video, uh, we're gonna uh, learn about output devices. Okay. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.